There was that time in my life where I got fat, you know, get out of high school and get the freshman 15, you know. Real brief, I struggled with substance abuse and let's just say when you're not messing around like that, there's a lot of good food to eat. And I found myself just eating Carl's Jr. three, four times a day. You know, 50 pounds I lost. The journey kind of changes. For me, it went from cardio to a little bit of weightlifting, you know, you know, mostly like the bro stuff. And then now it's like powerlifting, you know. I found out about powerlifting through social media. Thought it was cool, you know. I thought that that was, you know, a nice thing to focus on rather than uh, kind of just going to the gym nonchalantly and just doing whatever. Powerlifting seemed like you could move towards a goal, you know, a squat, bench, deadlift. The powerlifting started for me really like a year ago. That, that goal, you know, the goal to, to stay healthy, you know, the lifting and the strength stuff kind of gives me like a, like some confidence, you know, like in, in other areas of my life, because it's like, you know, I lift weights and then like I feel strong at home, you know. Uh, my boy Gabriel, we used to cross paths early morning in the gym. Like I'm talking like 4 a.m. I would see him there and I never said anything to him, right? I always kind of knew that he was like a strong guy. Like that was like two years ago, right? Never said anything to him and I didn't see him for a while. About a month ago, I saw him and I thought to myself, I wonder if this dude's gonna compete in the, the meet coming up, you know, the Central Coast Open. And I went up to him and I just said, hey, are you gonna compete in, the, in that meet coming up, the Central Coast Open? And sure enough, he said yes. You know, invited him to start training with me and another friend. And See, what I noticed at the gym is, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, go there to socialize which, you know, I'm not knocking it, you know, like I like to talk to people and I get caught up doing it. And, um, and you can tell there's the people that are there for a specific reason, you know, uh, weight loss, um, maybe they're really into spin classes, yoga, whatever, etc. you know, personal training, whatever. And then the, the strength guys, you know, there's a couple of them at every gym you go to, you'll notice some because the, they pull out the chalk, you know, and there's no chalk bowls around. They've got their own chalk in their bag. And you know, you could kind of spot the, the strength. These like with Gabriel, you know, or like even on Instagram, you could tell, you know, there's kind of people that are trying to be out there. You know, even myself, you know, like I'm trying to get better. I go and watch a bunch of powerlifting videos and, and um, you know, and I'm always recording my lifts at the gym. And um, that's just kind of what I noticed, you know, it's like the powerlifting community, like we're, I think, I think it's a supportive community and I think it's supportive yet competitive, you know? And even here, you know, with the team, you know, the slow strong team, it's like, there's a little bit of crap talking, you know, and, and there's, you know, it's really all in, in good, good nature, you know, good intentions. Like we're just trying to push each other to, to get that next lift. You know, when I'm putting up a set of eight or if I'm like going for a PR or whatever, you know, there's. There's gonna be someone yelling at me, maybe someone give me a, a slap on the back or. Boy, oh, oh, don't stop, oh, boy. Yeah. You know, maybe someone telling me I'm not gonna do it because they know that's gonna drive me to do it, you know, and. Come on. And it's just, um, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're intense, you know, maybe we're. We're like the artistic people of fitness. I mean, we're obviously kind of not all there in the head because we're like pushing our bodies, you know, to deadlift and, and squat, you know, really heavy weight, you know? Yeah, it's like insane. What kind of person, you know, somebody might tell you, you know, a normal person might tell me, matter of fact, my coworker, I'm like, hey, check out this deadlift video. You know, he doesn't care, but I'm like, I'm gonna show him anyways. And, you know, he's like, you can just have my scoliosis if you want. And I'm just like, damn, dude, like, it's not gonna, you know, I'm like all happy about it. But I think the powerlifting community is, is you know, they're like, uh, they're the intense, artistic, uh, maybe the outcast, you know, maybe uh, like me, I struggle with the substance abuse and now I find, you know, a lot of uh, pleasure and a lot of really therapy in, in lifting heavy weights and I get that strength physically, you know, lifting heavy weights, but it carries over, you know, into like, my home life, you know, like I've got a wife and kids and, and the strength helps me, it kind of gives me like that confidence, you know, like I know I can handle it because if I'm willing to get up here and put a heavy load on my bench press or, you know, do a heavy deadlift or a squat, I'm gonna be able to go home and just be confident in 
what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to cook dinner, do my chores, just strive to, to get better, you know, strive to, to lift more. I like, like, uh, what did I say? Like the other day I was like, um, I want to max out. Right. But I'm talking like physically, mentally, whatever else, you know, like spiritually, you know, like I want to max out and be a better person and I want to lift more weights. And that's kind of what I think the powerlifting community is all about. You know, we're all just kind of getting that therapy from lifting heavy. Watching some guys on YouTube and, and I came across, like I was trying to find some people that were doing this here locally. Eventually I came across some pictures and videos from the Central Coast Open of last year. And I saw like pictures of the team. I, I didn't even know these people yet. You know, I just saw pictures of the meet, watched some videos of the meet. Eventually I got directed to the Slow Strong website and I and I sent an email to to Andrew asking him you know what it was all about and Andrew basically told me the you know the gist of the team told me that I could join for free I thought that was kind of neat you know it's like anywhere you go you know it's like the gym wants the money or you know whatever so he said I could join the team for free whatever you know whatever team the team leader would say you know it's like we'd love to have you like I kind of had to commit to like you know, it's kind of like going on a blind date, you know, it was like, why don't you come to a team workout? And I'm like, yeah, that sounds cool. You know, like I really want to do that. I want to be a part of the team, but it just took a little bit of like building myself up. Like, all right, I'm going to do it now. And, and eventually I showed up to a team workout. You know, that first team workout, I was like intimidated. There was Pete watching me bench and Andrew was like squatting, you know, over 500 pounds. I'd never been in a powerlifting gym before and Pete was standing right there yelling like and I'm like you know like I was like freaked out you know I was like a little kid right so it took me like a little bit longer to show up at another team workout and eventually it was like all right well this is just you know this is just how it is this is like you know this is good now you know like I've got used to it and I was getting stronger and Andrew was starting to help me uh, you know he was kind of starting to talk to me more and and it was just a matter of showing my face around here, you know, just getting to know people, you know, like no one's going to reach out to a guy they don't know, you know, so I figured um, show up more, start talking. Like I, I think that there's a lot of knowledge, you know, when I come to the team workouts or when I get to come and lift with these guys that have been doing it for years, it all started from like, you know, like I went from a link to a link to somebody's Instagram profile, to the YouTube, to the Slow Strong website get directed to a lot of good things, you know, through the internet and just, you know, if you've got a, like a destination, you know, you can probably find it. Uh, the Central Coast Open, I think I, w I would love to bench 265 to 275. I'd like to squat probably three, 365 to, you know, hopefully maybe even a four plate uh, squat. I don't know what that is in kilograms, but I'm gonna put my spine on the line and go for like a 530 to 550 deadlift, you know what I'm saying? I think uh, the last time I pulled, uh, I pulled five plates at the mock, I did a mock meet here in, at, the, at the barn about a month and a half ago. And I got a five plate deadlift. And I think I got more in the tank. Pretty cool, you know, I think it's gonna be fun. I'm like 40 pounds away from having a class one total, you know? And that's if, you know, I'm, like I can successfully do if I get all my goals that you asked that I got, that I put out there, I'll have a class one total. And I don't even know what that means, but it's right underneath like master or something like that.